Welcome to the next theme workshop tutorial. Glad you can make it. There's been a lot of great themes coming out of the community theme creator for Big Box. And with that, a lot of the authors provide the project files for the community theme creator for everyone to load up and make any changes to. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can load up those files correctly so that you can make any changes you want to the theme and then publish it out so you can benefit from those changes. Now, in order to do so, we're going to start off on our community forums. I'll have a link in the description. Now we're going to go to our download section here. And from there, we're going to navigate to the big box custom themes category where you can see all of the available themes in this video. We have, let's take a look, uh, about 189 themes available. Some of them will be created from the community theme creator and a portion of those, the authors will have provided those project files. Now uh, I'm just going to go to one of mine. Here's cover box and I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, I, what I do is I put two files within this download link. So you do have to have an account. So you just sign up for account. It's free. Once you're signed in, uh, the download file will be available. When you click it, it's going to present you with two different files. I usually uh, name them so that you know that these are the community theme creator files. However, you will need both the theme files and the community theme creator files for this to work. Now I've gone ahead and downloaded both of these files and let's go figure out what we got to do with them. Okay, here are the two files that I've downloaded. And the first thing that I like to do with these files is right click them, go into properties and make sure that they're unblocked. If you don't do it, it could potentially still work, but this will uh, solve some issues down the line if you end up running into them. The next thing that I do is I navigate to the community theme creator. I go into the, my theme projects. Now, if you have a brand new version of the community theme creator, you might only see one or two folders in here. I've got a, a couple of them here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take the community theme creator files, open it up, see that there's, there's one folder called cover box, the theme that I downloaded inside of that you'll see all of the community theme creator files. Okay. So now I know that uh, everything's good. Now, if you double click the cover box folder and you find another cover box folder inside of it, uh, you just want to eliminate one of those cover box folders that can sometimes happen if you decide to extract into a folder. Now I'm going to grab this and just extract it directly into my theme projects folder. And while that's happening, there's one more step that we're going to have to do. So why did we download this theme files folder? I'm also going to just extract all probably use seven zip here. And we're going to go into the folders fonts folder. The reason is because in order for you to use the fonts that are available in this theme, you're going to have to install it. So here's the cover box folder. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to find a fonts folder. I'm just going to highlight all the fonts, right click and choose install. Now on windows 11, you're going to have to choose show more options and then you'll see install or install for all users. I'll just install for all users. Uh, if they ask me to replace a font, it means I don't need to replace it. So I'm just going to hit no, it'll install the fonts that I don't already have. Now cover box, uses a lot of fonts, as you can tell, uh, other themes might use a few less, but no matter, you will need to have them installed. Now, if you installed them while the community theme creator was open, you will need to then close the community theme creator and then reopen because it can't tell that you just installed new fonts. So now that the fonts are installed, I'm going to go ahead and open up the community theme creator, take a few seconds, and then you'll see that the community theme creator will open up. All right, now that it's open, you'll find in the top left hand corner here that in the drop down that your theme will now be available. In my case, it's cover box. I'm going to choose it. And there it is. My cover box theme has been loaded in. I can now make any changes to this theme. Uh, you'll see that it's got all the different views available, which includes a platform view, a text filters view, which is the platform text view and the text games view. Uh, the text games view in this theme. So you might 
Know that some themes might have platform specific game views and in order to tell, you would navigate to one of the views and then you would click on uh, this configuration default button and that will open up a list of your available platforms and anything with this little icon means that there is a special view just for that system. So in this case, I'll click Nintendo Entertainment System and it will allow me then to see the Nintendo Entertainment System specific platform specific game view. That's a mouthful. And show me, uh, allow me to edit it. So I can hit the edit button, make any changes that you want with your theme. And then once you've made the changes, so let's say I didn't want uh, to see this over here, the uh, release date. And I would just hit this, I would hit delete. And then you would save it out. Now in this case, I do want to see the release date. So I'm just going to hit uh, the undo button, which is control Z. And, uh, you know, or I can just discard the change. Now, once you've made the changes that you want with the theme that you have downloaded, then you can just click the hamburger button here and say publish theme. And this will publish a theme, of course, into Big Box and it'll be ready to go the next time you launch Big Box. You would just have to switch over to that new custom version of your theme that you've created now. Hopefully that was helpful and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.